Our next guests are very concerned that the tobacco industry continues to make products that appeal and that are accessible to just too many kids. Now, according to recent data, 23.7% of high school youth in Massachusetts said that they have used e-cigarettes in the past 30 days. That's nearly one in four. Now, the 84 Movement is a statewide initiative of youth fighting tobacco, and the 84 represents the 84% of Massachusetts youth who did not smoke when the movement began. Now, I think it's up to 92% who do not smoke. Here to tell us about their recent Kick Butts Day on April 26th are Shirley Ortiz Robles and Sarah Ryan, both members of the statewide leadership team of the 84 Movement. Welcome to Urban Update. Thank you. Okay. So I was looking at some of the photos that I'm going to share with our viewers in a little bit. That uh, April 26th day, tell me a little bit about that because that looked like an amazing day. So we brought uh, nearly 200 to 300 youth to Boston to the State House to speak with our legislators about the issues that we're facing in our own communities regarding how big tobacco targets youth. And so we spoke about flavored cigarettes and the placement of these products and all these kinds of things that are really pressing issues. Yeah, I saw, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to you shortly, because I saw, um, saw a lot of kids with signs and very passionate about it. How did you learn about this and what made you get so involved? Well, I got involved through Girls Inc., the part of the solution um, group. And so they're just um, a group of girls that um, just educates students in Lynn and um, about about the issues, especially about tobacco. And I started getting into it. I found out about the 84, and I just threw myself in and tried to help in whatever way I could. Did you speak? You were one of the speakers, right? Yeah. I think we have a photo of you yeah, um, speaking. How was that? So at first, I was a little nervous, but it all came naturally. I think when you're passionate about something, it just comes out. And especially when, when you know what's going on in your community, you just want to fight for it and um, educate other people so they can get passionate about it, too. Yeah. Now, you also, I see you speaking up there. Um, tell me a little bit about the, your audience. Who was listening and who did you want to listen? So we had youth there from all across the state, and we also had some legislators that we were going to speak to later later in the day. So we, the morning was a lot of preparation to speaking with these legislators. So we were talking to the youth about how you really need to share your own story and you really want to get these messages across that we are being targeted by big tobacco and this really is an issue. How did you feel? I see a picture. How did you feel? Did, were they listening to you? Yeah. Yeah, they were very receptive, but I was a little bit nervous, but I think I really got the message across, and I was just really excited to be with all of the, my peers and just have this connection with them. Yeah. Now, um, the 84 movement is a, a lot of youngsters, right? Mm -hmm. And tell me a little bit about why you guys are so upset. So what is it that the tobacco industry is doing so much that's got you guys all up in arms? You want to go? Okay. So... <laughs> When we talked to our legislators, we had three main points. So Big Tobacco targets youth by making their products sweet, cheap, and easy to get. When we talk about it being sweet, e-cigarettes come in 8,000 different flavors, like Red Bull and Starburst and gummy bears and things that, like, you're kidding. things that youth want to use. No, you, you're like, kidding. No, no, I'm not kidding. 8,000 different flavors. Wow. Yeah. So, has that got you upset? Yeah, it's... I mean, it's just type of this type of thing where um, you think that it's the cool thing to do. And even though um, like traditional cigarettes are going down in usage, um, e-cigarettes are just going up because they there's this misconception that they're not dangerous and that they're perfectly fine to use because oh, it's just water vapor. But little do they know that there there's harmful products and um, chemicals in there that can really bring damage to the brain, diminish the potential of of a young person, and um, get them addicted. And then after all of it, Big Tobacco has a long lifetime user and gets them hooked and next thing you know from e-cigarettes they move on to different things and it's mm. just terrible. How could people get involved? How could people watching now um, support the cause or support you guys? So, um, so we have a bunch of different chapters all over Massachusetts um, in high schools and we have actually on our t-shirts the 84.org oh, yep. right, um, so and we're out, on yep. And we're on social media as well. We're on Instagram at the 84, Twitter, um, Facebook, and there's just tons of resources, especially on our website, on how to create your own chapter and how to get involved anywhere else. And if you want to join the statewide leadership team, it's on the website as okay. well. So I I'm really impressed by you guys, so I just kind of want to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, where do you go to school? Holbrook High. And what year are you? I'm a sophomore. 
So you're way smarter than I was when I was a sophomore <laughs> and way more involved. Did, is anybody else in your family involved? Uh, my parents are very supportive because this is an issue that has really affected my family. A lot of my relatives smart started smoking when they were very young, and I don't want to see that happen to the people in my generation. Ah, good. And how about yourself? Yeah, so actually my cousin, um, she's she's in it too, and she works with the Lynn Youth Council, and she's super excited to work with us all the time. What school do you go to? So I go to Lynn Classical. And you're? A senior. So, you, but you look like... I look like I'm 12. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at least she admits it, right? Yeah, that's but good. it'll be a benefit in the future. You already know that, right? Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely, yeah. That's good for you. All right, so listen, I want to thank you guys for coming by. Hopefully some folks watching will get encouraged and, and uh, you know, support you guys. I know it's awesome what you guys are doing, so keep it up. Shout out to your parents. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead, look into that <laughs> thank camera. Thank you to my parents for supporting me over the years. I love you. No, you can say their names. Oh, uh, Dan Ryan and Denise Ryan. You almost forgot your dad, dad's name? How about you? Look into that camera. Thank you to someone specific. Well, I just want to thank everyone else that has been so supportive of me, especially Andrea, Joan, and just my family. They've been super supportive and just can't thank them Good enough. job. Well, you made everybody proud. Good job. <laughs> All right, don't move because uh, coming up next, I'm going to introduce you guys. Uh, how teaching Boston Public Schools to students to articulate an argument goes a long way in life. We've got more information right here on Urban Update.